Okay, we're now going to unbox and demonstrate the Angioseal closure device. Here is part of the kit. And here is the other. You can open this up and gently remove what's inside. This part of the angioseal contains the collagen at the tip. As you handle this, you have to bear in mind that holding it up here and pushing down could make this part break. It's better to take small steps and advance the device gently to protect the shaft from breaking. Get ready to perform an angioseal closure. You take these two parts out and you make sure that the parts with the markings on them are facing the same way. You merely insert one part into the other. And as you do so right here, there's gonna be a slight click as it is inserted. There we go. Okay, so if you were to imagine that in my right hand is the sheath that is currently in the patient's groin and you wish to take it out and perform an angiosphere closure, you can have any J wire or the wire that comes in the kit and feed it through the sheath as follows. Now, once that is in place, you can walk back carefully the sheath out of the groin, pushing hard on the actual arteriotomy site to prevent hematoma formation like this. This on the wire for you. You're going to advance the angioseal device into the arteriotomy site. And you're gonna keep going and keep going. You can perform a gentle sideways motion. Now, once your device has appropriately reached inside, there will be a little side hole that's hard to show here, which will start to squirt blood out. Some people recommend pulling back again until that bleeding stops and then pushing back down again until you see the bleeding again. Once you've done that, you secure the angio seal so that it does not budge at all. Your hand should be rested on the patient's leg. This is not gonna move. There is bleeding from the little side port. And then you, while holding very firmly, you start to remove this inner portion carefully. Your other hand should not be moving and you're ready for the next step ready to insert the little collagen plug. You have to hold it from the tip because otherwise it may buckle or break. And you, while holding again very firmly on this side, you clip that in and then in small bites start to advance your angioseal device in. And when you get to this point, you can push until there's a slight clicking sound. By the way, I wanted to show you in this demonstration what is gonna happen at the tip of the angioseal device. If you look closer, as I bring this into zoom with a camera, you can see a clear side plate. That is going to go inside the artery. But as you deploy the angioseal, you're gonna be pulling in a moment because that should not stay hanging around in the middle of the artery, but rather be pulled up right up against the wall. So this is gonna form the inside of your plug. And the angioseal is gonna provide an outer collagen plug on the opposite side, on the outside of the wall to tighten and close the hole.
Now back to deploying the anger seal. Some people pull straight up with this hand or do a side shimmy by going click and click. Either one is fine, but once you've done this, you're ready to deploy your anger seal. So you pull firmly like that. You can go side click and click, but you'll hear a double click. Now that you've done this, you can start to pull the entire apparatus outwards out of the arteriotomy site. This is, of course, just a demonstration. We're not really in the artery, but as you start to pull, the collagen right there is released. And as you keep pulling, you will see this green tamp tube and then the rest of the suture. Let me show you a little closer so you can see what we have. There is that foot plate I showed you earlier and there's the collagen. The foot plate will end up right inside the wall of the artery, abutting it, and the collagen will start to expand as it comes into contact with fluid outside. As you pull up, you will keep guitar string-like tension on your suture here, and you hold the green tamper and you pull down like this, which will, if I show you in this demonstration, push down on the collagen and make sure that it is deployed where it needs to be. And when you do that, you just simply let go and cut the suture and take the green tamper out. And that leaves behind inside your arteriotomy some collagen and the foot plate. At the end of the angiosuit deployment, all you will see is of course the suture, which you can cut flush with the skin. If you deploy an angioseal and it fails in that it is still bleeding, what you can do is pull on that suture upwards, use a hemostat, and immediately check the pulses downstream. In many cases, when you have bleeding after an angioseal deployment, it could suggest that the foot plate or collagen are inside the arteriotomy uh, and are actually obstructing flow, which will become a vascular emergency.